Welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. This is Iphos and this is a blind playthrough of the game. Since last video I have actually uh, replayed the first part because I figured out my character creation in the beginning was wrong. So I have now a human Magus level 2 instead. So I'm at the exact same spot. I've done exactly the same. The only th difference is I'm a human now. I will show you the, uh, the skills and everything so you can see. I'm a human, neutral good, uh, Eldritch Scion 2. So I... Uh, uh, it's almost the same character. The big difference is I uh, changed from Eldritch... Uh, from Sword Lord to Eldritch Scion, which gives me f uh, a few more spells, and I also I'm a have a drag dra uh, draconic bloodline. That's the only difference between this playthrough and the last. I level up Valerie the same way, and I level up Lindsay the same way, and I also leveled up Amiri the same way. They are exactly the same. I have the same gear of the character. The difference here is I can actually use armor now. That's one of the reasons I respect. I will also take a brace of arm armor because I need more armor on my character. That's just an armor bonus and I don't know if it's... Equip. Let's see here. Yes, exactly. I can't use this. This armor don't, doesn't comply with... What doesn't it comply with? Okay, this is, doesn't comply with the armor, so probably I will go... I don't know who shall get, will get it, but I'll keep it for now. But that's the only difference I've made. I also took a few... Uh, every flask I found, like I did last game. Uh, I will start this run by giving out some potions, because I'm still looking for the fight that's coming. As you can see, I'm still here. I will p speak to Bokken now, uh, the herbalist that ran away. We could use your help fighting the bandits. Diplomacy. I have seven diplomacy, so I need to roll a nine or higher on this roll. And I succeeded. <clears throat> Tell me about yourself. We talk later. I don't know what I got there. I got a few more potions, it's as it seems. I have alchem alchemist fire. That's actually quite fun to use, but I don't have any character that can use it yet. I will have soon though. Because I, as I told you earlier, I will go alchemist on this character. Let's check out this trading post. I think I will set up a defense here. And loot the shit out of it. I need the spoon, I need everything. One big difference is I'm not fatigued now because I actually managed to save the guards without fa failing this time. So I did not get fatigued there. So I'm not exhausted right now, so I will actually be m more dangerous fighting the enemies, which is quite nice. Mm, but that's about the only difference this run and the, and the last one. Uh, okay, that was just some hunting tools and other rubbish. Shit. I will look for alchemy fire because he had alchemy fire and I will put it in the, on the gates to defend it. I will also use beard traps, I think, to defend it. I. If I remember correctly, they said it. 
an old well is brewed runaway. It's clear it even has a new roof. Yes, there it is. It's too bad I can't, like, change the percept, uh, percept um, the way I look. Buckler and a longsword and a heavy crossbow. I don't know what's the difference between heavy crossbow and normal crossbow. That might actually be something worth looking up. I don't know. Do you have. Let's see here. Crossbow 1 to 8. I can't find more information about it. If we check the difference here, it's better in any way I can see. So I will change to it. I think it's slower, but I can't really. Uh, tell you uh, as of right now The big difference here is that she got, well, She became encumbered. Let's see here uh, Let's get back to the possible attack Tell more about yourself Surely there's more important thing to discuss. We just came here blah 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 blah. We're uh, honest people came, came here for a rest of we used to fix out the old fort to the house uh, travelers we also deal with the occasional huntsmen in the area that's not yes exactly we talk later I bad. want to find you told me let's see journal <clears throat> I did open and find the catch it's done we will fail in okay uh, we see to start up the hornet's nest fight. Jamal Yardarmer made it clear to keep the trading post safe is one of the conditions. So we have to protect this place and its people no matter what. Said so we have enough, we don't have more time than three months to conquer. First step for road to glory. Leave the hall, follow it. It's done. The prologue is done. So now we're in the stolen land. And I'm done with the errands. And I don't know. Yes, you are super good at everything, but that's not what I was looking for. I want to... Well, let's do it. I don't know. Wait for the attack. Fear not, I'll stand between you and this scum you're under my protection. Finally, a fight was bored with all the talk. Well, I guess even the great heroes had somewhere to start. I see you're not easily covered. I beg you, be careful, and please don't let Oleg do anything this... Uh, blah blah blah. Uh, we're going to meet our guests. Time passes by. Yes, there we have. Okay, let's do this. Valerie, I want you to charge that bandit. I want you, Iphos, to use shocking grasp that one just shoot that one and you charge him uh, okay fight him Just murder that one. Pretty easy fight. Now let's loot everything. Because loot is fun. Let's just collect everything because I will sell. We are at the trading post. That wasn't so hard. Let's speak to Oleg is breathing heavily, but he shakes his fist in the air menacing. You rats got what you deserved! Now they'll know better than to treat honest people like cattle. And our Bokken here taught them a thing or two as well. You convinced all al alchemists to help in the struggle against bandits. Now, my lord, uh, head up on the guest rooms on the second floor. You deserve a rest after such a battle, and I need to clean things up. 
And this is for your effort. Now don't offend me by trying to churn it down. Just take it. An honest fight deserves an honest reward. If it were more common practice in the world, I think life would be much better. Wonderful. We, collect, we got 100 gold. That is actually super good. And if you ask me, I, it was a fairly standard fight and I'm, I'm pr pleased with it. Let's speak to it to I'm glad the fight's over, even if there was a fight. We talk tomorrow once I finished working. Sure, let's get up and go to bed. What is this? Okay, we failed. Let's see if I can do it. I can't pick locks. Wonderful. Here we have a belt. I don't know why. Blessed signet. Oh, fudgeous. Scroll or ray of enfeeblement. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know what that is. Potion of vanish. And ember. A red panda emotional support. <laughs> what? Sure. I won't complain, I think. How, wasn't we supposed to go to bed? Guide to Traveler, sure. I don't know what it's... Okay, it was easy. You wake up from a nasty dream that tortured you almost all night. In it you saw a wall of unfortunately thick fog that surrounded you, slowly moving closer and closer. A quick look out the window and you find that out the fog was not a figment of your imagination. Not a dream, and then, hear me. BOOM! Please hear me. Can you hear me? Please. The half-transparent outline of a beautiful nymph appeared before you. Even in this ghostly form, it's clear that she is exhausted. Her shoulders slouch, and her large blue eyes with, uh, burn within her pale face. Her voice is barely more than a whisper, and she reaches just towards you. <clears throat> Who am I? Just a tear shed by the land itself. The bitter sigh of nature. I am a nymph, the guardian of this area. A defeated guardian. Call me the guardian of the bloom, if you wish. Should I pick? I'm glad my adventure begins with such a beautiful scythe. Yes, I do. So tender. You can so easily be crushed under the blows of cruel fate. But you can save it from being undone. Sparks lit up and fade in the nymph's huge eyes. What do you want from me? Aid. Salvation. We have a common enemy, and long have I searched for someone who can defeat him. The one you call the Stag Lord. As a storm strikes ruthlessly with gusts and lightning, the Stag Lord wreaks havoc with the swords of his servants. And not just in the world of people. The land also suffers from the evil he brings. My forest. And my flowers suffocate in this fog. Soon, even I will vanish as the last ray of light fades at dusk. Okay, so according to her, the Stag Lord is <laughs> pretty powerful to be able to defeat the Guardian Nymph and punish the land. I don't know really what that means. We'll see. The stag lord is responsible for the fog. Yes. It hides his fortress as well as his dark deeds. While responsible, he did not create this affliction. It is the work of a powerful druid who has betrayed even himself. I know not why the powers did not leave this renegade, but even I was unable to defeat him. Okay. So there is a powerful druid and a 
bandits boss that controls him. How can I help you? This fog that enshrouds in tangled suffocates. If only I could learn how it was created. My power I like the cats. Wanes. I have barely the strength to call out to you. All I know for certain is that somewhere in this forest lies an old house. And it echoes with the remnants of a strange power. The stag lord and his druid were there. The fog hides this place from me, but I can point you to the bandits' camp near the Thornford. Make them tell you where this place is. Go there and listen to the echo. Catch the whispers. Search for anything that can tell you how the fog was created. Once the fog clears, Nature will breathe again, and you will be able to easily find your way to the fortress of our mutual enemy. Okay, so I should should go to Thornford to uh, interrogate the bandits. All right, I understand. Farewell. I don't believe in fate, stranger, <coughs> but our meeting seems more than a coincidence. The nymph whispers, fades as she disappears. Dun dun dun! Cool. There's no threats in this locator. It's a sort of a headquarters where you can prepare your party for the next expedition. In such location, companies will follow you around and will go on their business. You can speak with them freely to get to know them better. You'll be able to choose companions. Okay, so I can get more companions here. Or at least I can find more compa uh, companions. That's cool. As it should be. I really like the cat. I want it. If you ask me, I should be able to steal it. Anarelli, eight eyes. Here's Lindsay. I will actually speak to Lindsay. Uh, a halfling girl with tousled hair wear a dusky, dusty traveler's outfit. She sits, sits chewing the tip of a quill. Just a moment. How should I put it? Oh, I know. She scribbles something quickly in a notebook scrabbled with verse. Rises her eyes and gives you a bright smile. Oh, hi. Tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? I am interested in Shailen, so I will... Uh, we, we start from the beginning. Where are you from? I'm from all over. Haha. <laughs> I was actually born in Galt. Galt is a nation of free thinkers and radical uh, radicals, renowned for br brilliant poets, artists, and philosophers, whose ideas shaped the uh, politics of the world of Avistan. Galt was once a vassal nation of Sheliaks. Sheliaks is a really evil nation. They have a demon uh, that sits on the throne. Kinda. It's it's hard to understand, but they made a pact with devils a long time ago, and now the devils are rooting the country. Uh, so the power of Galt decided to throw off their foreign rules, rulers, along with their, their own nobles who have concluded with them. The execution did not end with the bloodshed and... Uh, not end the bloodshed and within five years several head of the ministers of the first government rolled down the steps of the guillotine okay so it's a weird place uh, it's in such a tiny village that's even not on the maps if it weren't for my teacher i'd be still living there milking goats weeding turnips sewing homebrew uh swilling homebrew having babies and using books only as kin kindling who was your teacher he's a true saint he once was an important person in the capital at the Church of Shailin, but he got in trouble with authorities and went on a self-imposed exile to the tiniest, most godforsaken, priestless village he could find, the one I was born. Uh, he wanted to open a school, but the village wouldn't let him. You can uh, heal us all you like, but no, uh, but no putting any ideas into our children's head. It'll only distract them from the, their work, but he didn't teach me on the sly. He thought, uh, but he did teach me on the sly. He taught me how to read, how to write, and he gave me books, poems, legends. He was one of the, uh, he was the one who told me about the Ark Knights of Avistan 
And when I told him what was going on with Yuri, he gave me a magic ring so this Shadelin will protect me from harm. Arknights of Aviston, who are they? <clears throat> oh, you haven't heard them? How can you be a hero without knowing one of the most epic stories in the history of stories? They... No, I won't spoil anything. You should just read it yourself. Every single captures the adventure are what gave me the, uh, the idea of going to a heroic quest and writing about it. And it begins with... Oh, look. Here I am. On a heroic night, a quest. How did you become a bard? When I realized there was nothing for me beside more uh, radish patches, I decided to run away with, uh, a, tr with a traveling book peddler, uh, Tessaly the Quill. Happened. Nay, a traveling book peddler, Tessaly the Quill, happened across our village. Well, I s stuck to her like a burr and <clears throat> wouldn't let go until she agreed to take me as an apprentice. Together we traveled everywhere, to Brevoy and Taldor, even Utslav, and I found out about the Academy of Grand Arch in Pitax. Academy of Grand Arch is a super popular place for bards to go. And I thought, well, I love reading stories, so I could surely learn how to write them too. I ro enrolled on my first try and they gave me a scholarship. Then they expelled me, but, uh, <laughs> but that's okay. They already told me the important stuff, and now with Chalin's help, I can manage them on my own. Do you worship? Do you worship Shailen? Yes, not to offend the other god, but she's the most important of them all. All of the other gods, uh, all of the other god, the world as is, it is. All the other gods guard the world as it is, but only the eternal rose, the goddess of beauty, calls to the world as it should be. Why are your clothes so messy? <laughs> uh, Lindsay waves her hand carelessly. Forget it, I can't waste money on looks. I read it by books instead. In over a hundred years when people are reading my works, they aren't going to ask where, uh, whether the author had holes in her sleeves. Let me ask you about something else. Uh... Tell me about the book you're writing. <clears throat> what is there to tell? You've seen some of my rough traps already, haven't you? It's the book about you and your adventure. I'm writing the whole truth, just as this happened. Well, the whole artistic truth. You know, no glory nor story. Uh, so what kind of character am I? Truth to be told, I was a little afraid of meeting a real hero. In books, the others are always protector of the weak and poor, but... What about in real life? But you ease all my fears with, with two shakes of a uh, tail. You're a true hero, just like Legends. My new fear is that in a hundred years my readers will say that people like you never existed, but I'm writing the truth. How do you feel about uh, be me reading your work in progress? Well, there's only draft, but of course you're welcome to read them. You just keep in mind that every... That even if you don't like what I write about, I won't change a single le leather, so don't even ask. I like that. Uh, this is how the good I will do now. <clears throat> uh, of course, it's a book about you, but it's my book, understand? The small writer's eyes glows rebelliously. Uh... I will actually do lawful neutral here, because I... No, chaotic good. Write whatever you wish. I doubt you would defame me. Or, for that matter, overpraise. Thank you for your trust. I will not set out to please you, of course, but I still hope you that you like my book as much as the other readers. What's the deal with the ring you are spilling on your finger? Uh... Ah, this! Lindsay holds his arm for you to get a clear uh, view of the ring. It was a gift to me from my first teacher. It's magical, imbued with the power of Shailen, no less. When I get in myself in trouble, it transports me to a safe place. Just don't leave without me, of course. I could write whatever you tell me, but if I want to stay cooped up in a dusty room, I'd still be sleeping through lectures at the academy. Wonderful. Now we actually have a uh, better knowledge about 
um, Lindsay, which I think it's important because I want to have her with me the whole run. Good day. I hope you're feeling all right after battle. I can't thank you enough for what you've done. I definitely don't want to waste your time, but if you have a moment, I have a request. <coughs> of course. What do you want to ask me? So it lands on lower her head. This is a very personal request. Maybe not important enough for your time. It's completely understand if you say no. But the first time the Staglord's thug came here the money money, they also took my wedding ring. Just tore it off my hand. It's just a trinket really, but it means so much to me. I remember every moment of the day o Oleg came to me, the ring in hand, and asked if I'd like to marry him. I was standing in a fancy dress on the stairs of my father's home, fearing that I'd misheard something. Or did I say something stupid and, any, and everybody would laugh? <laughs> so Atlana interrupts herself, shaking her head gently. If you happen to find my ring among the band in its possession, please bring it back to me. It's easy to recognize. My name is engraved inside the band. Svetlana lowers, uh, uh, drops her eyes, lowering her voice. There's one more thing. Among the bandits, there's a dark-haired uh, woman who wields double axes. She's not bad in f f a fight. In fact, she can be extremely dangerous and cruel. But please, I beg you, show her mercy if you have the chance. I'd be happy to help, Svetlana. Tell me about yourself. <clears throat> I was. It was Oleg's idea. I thought it. Uh, I suppose. I, I, uh, though I supported him in it, we didn't realize how dangerous it was here. Of course, in rest of everybody respects the sword lords, and everyone is accustomed to relying on them. Uh, even the mention of someone like Lady Yamandi could be enough to fend off street thugs or other trouble. It could maybe work in some place here, but not with the Stag Lord's men. What can you tell me about Stag Lord? He's just uh, some average bandit. No one puts stop to him. He could turn the stone and let it personal kingdom, a kingdom of fear and oppression. Uh, it would be a kingdom of lawlessness. Once I dealt in Stag Lord, your life will improve. I like adventures, and I. But I'm definitely uh, preferred ones involved stopping villains and helping people. I will actually do chaotic good here again. I can't thank you enough uh, for the hope you've given me, but please be careful. The Stag Lord is extremely dangerous. I have to go. Farewell. Who is this one? An elf looks straight at you. Throughout the tangle, hair fall over her. Hey, you're an adventurer, right? Seeking your fortune in the stolen land. You aren't the only one of your kind here. Take my advice. Keep your eyes open and watch your back. Sometimes the ones who call, uh, call themselves your friend are the more, more dangerous than your enemy. Judging by the elf, elf's voice, it's obvious that you started the day with a jug of wine. Who are you? The elf grunts. Andoriel ate ice. Once upon a time I was famous throughout Absalom. Andoriel ate, ate ice of the reckless six. Well, glory passes quickly. A few miserable decades later and no one recognizes you on the streets anymore. I don't care about that one. Uh, but I will talk to her later. I think I want to do Oleg Leventon. I want to sell. Oleg seemed to be a good wood and greeted you warmly. Greetings! You certainly roughed those villains' feathers. Well, anyway, new day, new trouble. Have you seen the fog? Never seen anything like it before. The road to rest of it looks like someone spilled milk and just hang it in the air. I couldn't see anything through, the, uh, through that soup, not even uh, with a torch. Feels like witchcraft to me. I bet Staglord is involved so high. Tell me about the Stag Lord's gang. <clears throat> uh, the other gangs, if they're still here, try their best to keep a low profile. As for Stag Lord's men, well, the most notable of them are his three lieutenants. Uh, the oldest one's name is Akedos. He's from somewhere around Taldor. He's fierce in a fight, but from what I heard, he isn't cruel by nature. That two are Dovan and Aukus. Uh, 
they are usually seen together. Ahus is a mountain of a man with a mind of a five-year-old, albeit a mean and bloodthirsty one. He is quite a fan of torture and blood execution. Though Ancho, though, is the one is a, that wants a snake in man's body. I hope you never meet him in flesh. The rumors about him are more than enough for me. Okay. I will buy some shit right now. Or at least I will sell. Cloak resistance, that I... Nice! Was it any good bow? No, it wasn't. Let's see, uh, one more composites. Those are actually super good. This belt grants wears... Damn yes! Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> and uh, uh, ember, I don't know what that is. It feels like some kind of rope. I will keep the rope and I will keep everything else. I think this is as good as I'm going to sell. Uh, pearl I can sell. I don't care about pearls, I don't care about cysteines and incense. Uh, it's just good to have stuff. But I think I will look once more. Um, um, I would like to have uh, if they have any short sword, two bladed sword. Who can use two bladed sword among the crew? No one. Okay. Scimitar plus one. It might actually be better than a long sword. It does. Oh, it's hard, but it has better crit chance, which is why I want to buy it. But I do not have the gold for it yet. If I don't sell any of these magic th thing majangs, but I want to keep them. Um, lesser metamatic rod. I don't know what if I should buy anything. <coughs> and if I sh should buy anything, I think I will buy uh masterwork rapier or masterwork longsword if i remember correctly you have a masterwork bastard yes and you have heavy crossbow and a spear you have your magical blade and i want a better longsword so i will buy a masterwork longsword and that's the deal i will equip that thing uh stud ladder i can sell i missed it and camping supplies rations <coughs> yes that is what i want i think let's see now change that Equip. let's no i don't want to have two blades Cloaker resistance, all saving throws. Let's see, enhancements, bonus on constitution and resistance. That's good to have higher con this early is super good. Let's see, this one is to cast bless as a sp I would like to give that ring to her actually. I don't know. Hide armor, medium armor, hide. I would almost like to give you some better armor. Let's check. Show me your wares. Because hide armor, there must be some better armor she can use. But I don't know how much dex she's using. Let's check out Amiri real quick. 
how much decks are okay that's no problem i will buy her some better armor then uh, breastplate yes i will buy breastplate for her i think that is the right way to go it's medium armor that she can use and let's see you are using leather armor i think i can give you a chain shirt it's really big difference but i don't know now i will actually keep her Five damage with a buckler would help her super much instead of a spear but I like the spear Be uh, I will sell that and buy a rapier and a buckler for her deal okay it feels like I'm just doing some shopping right now but I think this will be really good in the long run to give the characters some better items because now she when she's using this weapon she has better AC which is super good uh, let's see what this ember had to say nothing okay well, I will stop this uh, right here, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. If you like enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you want to see more of me, you can always check out my Twitch, where I stream games like Diablo 2 and uh, other RPGs. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.